Break out the cheesesteaks and beer. We are live at Too Big to Fail Financial Stadium in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, home of the Evils. And this is a mean crowd, and they are looking for blood. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Malice Hellboys take on the Philadelphia Evils. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing because NFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pod pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the refs early and often. No mercy. <laughs> oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's full on berserk. Or at least he could set himself on fire. At least it would slow the berserker guy down. No, baby. No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. I'm going to wreck it. And it's why he's on defense, schmuck. I'd be impressed if he splits the uprights from this far away, Bricks. If he doesn't, they're going to split his skull wide open. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. First and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Yeah, 
First down in a mile. And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Marvin, that was a pass play. Rolling plays him in bowling. Second down and nine. says who's next Sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> Six-yard game there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people... Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And that'll be second down and four. <laughs> it was a... Defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. Whoa, and he laterals the ball to the player behind him. And that'll give him four more downs to punish the defense. And you better... A man from prison just came out of the field? That's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> the offense lost another running back and only drew a man on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! point attempt straight through the uprights I think I the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score hey speak for yourself I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring First and ten. Okay, and he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Hot, hot one, hot two. Ground 
game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. Oh, come on. That was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. And it's first and ten. They go to the ground game and pick... Just call him Cap and Crunch. Nobody. Another one bites the dust. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you doing? The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expenses that is. And it's first and ten. is good for about five yards. Second down and five. And he picks up four on that pass and catch. Third down and a pussy here. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a run. They just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Hey kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker? Be and there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. And he's off to the races. He could go over. And yeah, never mind. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. <laughs> And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. First and goal. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. And that'll be second and eight to go. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to fight it. Now, this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type, though. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes.
comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it's... If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. And that's another turnover for the D. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. The defenders won't be just kicked in. He's so fast, he could run a kickoff for a touchdown before the ball was even tipped. <laughs> Second down, and a very long. I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You... Ouch! What is this? Andy's wrestling? And it's first and ten. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beat boost injection. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Sanford song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. Close, but no cigar. First and ten. Second down in a lot. the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Third down and long. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through. I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice you ate. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. If that hit didn't cribble him, it certainly left skid marks. And 
It's first and ten. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Second down and ten. Third down and, well, good luck. And with another pick, the QB... Oh, he just got crushed! First and ten. And another interception. Pow! With the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I... Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh. Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they are not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Second down and two. Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face.
And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Ben, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage, and he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the NFL, you moron. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just... Just throw it to the guy in the same color jersey. As oh, with a brutal hit. <laughs> it's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, throw in the half. Can you pick me up a soylent beer? And they're taking the field for the second half, and we have got a tie score. Uh, speaking of tie, Grim, me and Hot Wanda, we want to try something different, so we tied each other up the other night, and nothing happened because we were both tied up. I don't understand what the big deal is. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. That's a nice catch for five yards. Second down and five. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. The offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. First and four. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting it. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Hey, remember that skeleton lap dance you had at that totally bone strip club last year, Grim? <laughs> yeah, she said for 20 bucks, I'll take it all off. I didn't know she met her head. That was uh, kind of weird. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. Pow! And how about a 
little dirt sandwich. Second and three. Second down, the side defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. We should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners straight through the uprights. I think I shown my card. That's a yeah. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. First and ten. Let me tell you, getting shot is no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shit top of eight. Oh man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore win. The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. And it's first and ten. Hot one. And he scores! I think I my if you think 
close attention, kids, you'll see his steps are making a perfect pentagram. Summon your own demons at home. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. I think I showed my card. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. was an all-pro NFL hit. Second down and two. Kill this berserker! Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo! Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome! I hope they had raincoats in the front row, because that was splattering everywhere. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, Grim. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the guy in this. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. He is fighting for every up, and then to first down from a great catch. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. This ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were... Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. And it's first and ten. it in there for a four-yard gain. Second down and six. Boom, dead and down. He just 
sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. And it's first and ten. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Hot one, hot two, hot three. But he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Third down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. This guy's a brick shit. Oh, that was a hit. You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? I'll take the salad, Steve. Wait, where am I? And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Third down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. He's not Nelly. Offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Hot one, hot two. Hot, hot, hot. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. Yeah, it's still edible though. Just gotta sweep off the charred parts. Third down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot, hot. The Roid Rage Dirty Trick transforms a player into a rampaging lunatic for the Drake. And that's a run for no gain. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. A misfired punt will give the opposing team great field position. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. Set of downs. 
Hey man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? threatened to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And the when the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go, Don't You Eat That Yellow Snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But that fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. First and ten. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. Mm, it helps. Believe me. Oh, man. Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. The Eagles did some serious house cleaning today, forcing a forfeit on their home turf. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I know wounds taste just like chicken. How was it? Scrambles tomato soup. Wounds. Mm-mm, good. The MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Yeah, right. Putting three words together for this guy is like you doing a Rubik's Cube. What's a Rubik's Cube? Moving on. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.